Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 3rd. The year is going so fast, 2018. I'm your co-host Scott Patton. Joining me is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, it's Monday. It's after the holiday. It's December. Everybody is uh, getting into the festive mood. So obviously there were no option trading or opportunities today, right? Oh no. Why would there be volatility during the holidays, that doesn't make any sense. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, yeah, there's always an opportunity to trade, brother. Right. Cool. So what happened today? Where, where did we make our money? Sure. Let me, let me share my screen as I um, want to do. Let's look at the basket, and we'll bring up the replay controller, and we'll see what it looked like at the end of the day, just to get a feel for the day when we dissect them like this. And we'll go ahead and change those to bigger candles. And... So you can see it was uh, on the day red, but you can see, Scott, you don't need to have a trained eye to, to know that this was a cyclical day. You can see ups and downs, there's peaks and valleys all the way through. So that's the kind of trends that we are able to trade um, when there's strong price movement in one direction or the other, and it's not kind of like just going sideways. So this signals opportunity for us. And the first trade that I would like to highlight for the viewers out there came at about 9.45 and it was on stock called Amgen. So let me pull up my main list here. Stand by for just one second. Oops. Run. Run. Okay, cool. And you can see it had a really good day going red, but we're going to go way back to that 945 time frame. And for the uninitiated, this is the stock and what's happening underneath it, underneath the options we're going to be buying. So Amgen, the stock, started the day with some strong red movement. And since we're early in the day, let's go to one minute candles. So each one of these candles is one minute of market time. And it was just kind of cascading down. This orange area is called the risk zone. So when a stock breaks out of it, I'm way more, I'm not going to trade it while it's in the risk zone, but I am inclined to trade it once it breaks out of there, especially when it's about to break out of resistance and it's got some volume behind it. So I would have been watching and scanning this stock, Amgen. And right here, as it's breaking the risk zone and we've got a nice, uh, volume coming up and we're at the end of the time window that's when I would have jumped in on this one uh, so we can bring up our what we do in the replay simulator is we buy a put we don't have to worry about price action in the replay it's just very simplistic and you can see within the first minute you had a nice nine percent gain so for me personally I would have been out right there but you can see it gets up to ten percent a second later and then it really cascades down. Now, volume spikes tend to signal the end of a trend. So I would advise any of my students at this time, once you see that big volume spike, just go ahead and get out and take the nice 19% profit. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll look at the, the log 18.7% in just three minutes. Beautiful. And home run. I was going to say we call the risk zone the risk zone because anything you do when your stock price is in that zone is high risk. Yeah, exactly. And by default, you, you, once you're away from that risky area, you're, you've lowered your risk. So just be patient. Wait till some stocks or, or indices break out of that risk zone and uh, it's a little bit more clear sailing out there. In, in this same time frame, I mean, the, the market, you can see it here, Scott, it was going red. I had another trade I wanted to talk about right on the tail end of this one, and that was Amazon. It's one of my favorites. And so at this time, the market overall is going red. So a lot of stocks are being sold. It's a big sentiment thing. It doesn't really matter why to us. It just matters that we know there are a lot of sellers out there, a lot of selling activity. And when the market goes in a big direction, whether it's up or down, a lot of the stocks tend to follow along with it, right? It's like canoes going down a stream. They all go with the current. So when the market starts turning, let's 
Let's get the trade summary out of there. We're on Amazon now. So we're just going to go forward one minute. Again, similar setup to what we just had with Amgen. We're breaking out of the risk zone. It's, it's on the downside, and we, we have a tool for that. It's called a put option. So let's buy a put right there. No resistance in sight. Move forward one minute at a time, and we're getting some more indicators that help us. We call it the big big five. We got volume, we got K band, J stop, a trend line, and signals now come on. So we know we're in good territory. Follow this bad boy. There is there is no stopping in sight at this point. It's a nice, nice way to uh, make 10% in about three minutes there. And that's that's about where I would, would call it. We're getting into the time window. Just take take your profits and go. And I know you always want to see what, what happens afterwards. So <laughs> it may have, yeah. It, 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 there, that's far enough. That's, you, you would have been having a stroke if you'd have kept in and lost all your money. So all your profit, I should say. So that so that's good. Good timing, Rob. Hundred percent. It's just it just isn't worth the stress because you might have been able to eke a couple more. Maybe you get like 13, 15 percent if you got out at the perfect timing. But we're not going for perfection. No. no, it's not worth the stress, like you said. And then, like we, you know, I showed you the market, the basket, which is all all the best options congregated into one chart that was up and down so on this day there was also the opportunity to make a profit on calls which is the option we use to make money when a stock uh, or an index is going up so i would like to check out tesla uh, tesla's a frequent guest on our on our weekly reviews or our daily reviews right uh, because of its volatility so folks may become a little bit more familiar with tesla through us and it was right right on the tail end of that Amazon trade. Right here at about the 10.05 mark, we have the, the market starting to turn green. And I like where Tesla's at. You can see, if you look back over to the left, the very beginning of the day, we had a top. It topped out right around that 362 mark. Same thing, it approached the 362 mark about 15 minutes later. I bounced off of it. And now it's testing that 362 mark again right? This is, this is that new territory we talk about. And it's, it's just, just fresh breakout type stuff where you have a lot of room to run and a lot of profit potential is what that translates um, for us traders. So I'd say, I'd say maybe right there is, is a good spot. Mm. That, that's a pretty good one. I'd say. Do you think that broke the 362 mark? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it looks like it's ready to roll. You've got a, also got good volume. That's the purple at the bottom. Yeah. Big, big volume spike and starting to get higher highs. This one is, is rolling with that volume. And important thing here is this might've been a shorter trade because the market is turning against you. Now, Tesla is, somewhat of a rogue, so it can go against the market. It is one of those unique stocks. If we had gotten in right at the, uh, as this broke that 362 mark, I'm just skipping one minute at a time, it probably would have been closer to about 10%, but I think it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit longer trade if you wanna make that big money. So we're at 12% now, and you do have to ride some flutter with these volatile stocks, but it didn't break back past that Y point is my, my coaching guidance is know what, what your target is profit plan, right? So figure out what mark you think it'll hit. And for me, this resistance line right here, RC, that goes across the dashed line. Once it gets up close to that and I see volume spikes, that's when I'm going to be out. So we'll close that out at nice 12%. And on the day, there's three trades right there. over 10%, nice, nice day. And you only really had, if you started your pre-market prep, you know, 920, 10 minutes before the market opens, hey, that's, you know, an hour, hour worth of work. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, for 30, 
almost 40, well, 40%, really. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Coach Rob. Really appreciate you sharing this with everybody. Do you have a, uh, I actually have a question. Rather than ask you for a tip, which I usually do, when you talked about Tesla and getting to know Tesla, I was curious, do you tend to watch just, a small number of the stocks in the basket, which usually is around 40 or 50, or do you just sort of let the, let the software tell you which ones are looking good? Yeah, that's a, uh, I could go a lot of ways with that. The short answer is I just, I just watch for the best movers in that moment. Right. Okay. So when I see the conditions setting up, especially with, with market support, I will just be very selective. I've got a, a scan, you know, through hundreds of thousands of repetitions, you get a scan built into your brain and it becomes intuitive. So I can take one glance or even use my peripheral vision at my main list. And I'll just pull that out over real quick. We're looking at volume. We're looking at all these other indicators and you know, the software does a lot of the work for you because obviously we got a green trend going on in the market and the best ones are going to have a lot of green stacked up. It's, it's very, very user friendly in that way. So I will look through those. I've got my filters coming on a couple different things that, that will stand out to me. And it's just, it's just by nature that a lot of those best moving stocks are the ones that I get to know the best because they're frequently the best one in the list. Right. right? Yeah. I was, that, that was kind of my point is that, there's a, there's a number of good opportunities with all the stocks, but when you, you tend to find some, I, I found anyway that I tend to, to really watch certain or spend time with certain stocks and then you get to know them uh, really well. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, like, like we said, free, frequent appearances on our reviews like this, frequent appearances in our daily trade reviews on, on the Facebook site and everything, those, those tend to indicate that a certain ticker symbol has a lot of profit potential and just shows up repeatedly. Cool. Well, thank you again, Coach Rob, for joining us. And thank you for watching, everybody. This has been the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 3rd. And we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.